Welcome everyone, I am SheWolf. Today on Gamers Knows Best is the Achievement Cleanup Tip Guide. If you're in a hurry, here on the screen is where you can click and skip to a particular achievement you are looking for. So let's get into the video. The cave has a total of 27 achievements you can get, but you will have to complete the game several times over. So let's get into the achievements. Alright, so this probably has to be one of the easiest ones to get. It's called shoplifting. Now, after you have given the guy the three objects from the first puzzle, you will take a postcard from the gift shop, and then you're just going to walk right through the doors, and you will get the achievement. Alright, so for this one, you're still going to be holding on to the postcard, but for this, you're actually going to have to carry the postcard all the way through the game until the very end. It does get a little frustrating to make sure to hold on to it, but once you do, you talk to the man, and then you'll be able to put it back onto the postcard stand. How can you pass up these amazing... This is another one that's pretty easy, but it is very missable. All you have to do is grab the hot dog, and instead of ringing the bell, you actually jump over to the other side where the monster will get up and barbecue you, also barbecuing the hot dog, giving you the achievement. However, at the same time, you will die. Alright, so this one is in the mining puzzle. You will need all three characters, so make sure you bring them all down to the bottom at the same time. Once the miner throws the dynamite, you will all need to get hit at the same time, giving you fire in the hole. Alright, now the second achievement in the knight's puzzle is called Royal Buffet. This one, after you have helped the knight get Excalibur, you will run back up to the princess's room where you will find the dragon eating the king. Alright, the next achievement on the list is Such Bad Children. There's two ways of actually obtaining this one. The first one is once you go up the elevator into your parents' bedroom, you just have to jump around on their bed until it breaks, giving you the achievement. The second way is once you've gained the lockpick, you'll be able to go to the room to the right. I believe it's on the second or third floor. You just go in and then you push over the bookshelf, also obtaining this achievement. Now for the second achievement in the Adventurer's Puzzle. This one is very easily missed, but very simple to do. It's called Walk Like an Adventurer. All you have to do is, once you have seen the picture of the three Egyptians, bring all three of your characters over to this spot and arrange all three characters in front of the picture and you're good to go. Next up is the scientist. Now for this achievement, it is unmissable as it is part of her story. You just have to beat her puzzle and you will get the achievement Learn to Stop Worrying. So after you turn the three keys and you go down the elevator, you will obtain this achievement. Moving on we have is the second achievement for the scientist puzzle. It's called Hazardous Work Environment. For this to achieve, all you have to do is when you come to the wet floor sign, instead of taking it, you are going to put it near the edge near the stairs and you're just going to fall and slip off the edge. Alright, next up we have is the Time Traveler. For this achievement, it is unmissable as it is just completing her puzzle. To do so, it is after you get the bucket, to get the wheel, to get the rock, to squish the caveman. Once you have done this, this achievement will pop and you will receive Prevenge. Smells Like Team Spirit is the second achievement in the Time Traveler's puzzle. All three characters must be in the future and go stand by the dinosaur model. Then simply activate the button allowing the dinosaur stink to go on all three of the characters, which will then grant you this achievement. Next, we are moving on to the Monk's Puzzle. This is another one that is unmissable as it is just completing the Monk's Puzzle. It is called Grand Theft Karma. After you have loosened the bolt and go back up to talk to him, he will stand falling down to the ground and you have participated in the murder of his master, gaining this achievement. Embrace Imprivenance is the second achievement you will receive in the Monk's Puzzle. The heavy feather that you were given at the beginning of this level, you will need to hold on to throughout the rest of this level. Once you get to the magic carpet, you will need to go to the right side where you will see a rope. All three characters must climb up this rope, then step onto the bridge. One character must jump, breaking through this bridge, and you will receive this achievement. Next up is the Hillbilly. His achievement is called Funnier Than Burning a Carnival. This is unmissable as it is the achievement just for completing his puzzle. And to do so, once you have taken the teddy bear, he will get disappointed, but a pocket lighter will then appear in the same spot. You take that lighter and you go over to the far right side where you will find hay bales and you are going to want to light them on fire. You are then going to need to run to the left side to see everything that you have done and you will then obtain this achievement. Alright, now the second achievement in the Hillbillies puzzle is called Weight of the Beast. You will need to play as these three characters, the Knight, the Hillbilly, and the Time Traveler. In the Carnival level, you will have to also find three items, the Sledgehammer, the Wrench, and the Barbell. 
Now, you will have to have each character carry each of these items, bringing them to this scale. Once you have hit X and he tries to guess your weight, the number will come up with just question marks, allowing you to obtain this achievement. But be sure to do this before getting the tickets, otherwise the scale will no longer be functional. The third achievement in the Hillbillies puzzle is called Don't Fill Up on Fortune Cookies. This is a very easy but very time consuming achievement. You do have to run through multiple times and you do always have to have the Hillbilly with you. Each of the seven characters must visit the fortune teller to obtain this achievement. Alright, the next achievement is Win 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 Win. This is a very simple an easy achievement to get, you just have to get all seven of the characters through the cave and all reach the bottom. As always, most games have alternate endings, the cave is no different. This achievement is called Corruption, it is the bad endings. You will gain this when you get all seven characters to the bottom of the cave and the guy gives you what you desire most and you walk out the door and you climb up the ladder with each seven characters. As I said, there is two endings. Now for this one, the achievement is called Redemption. You will have to play through with all seven characters. You will have to get them to the bottom of the cave once again, going through, but this time, instead of taking the object that you desire, you need to leave it behind, walk through the door, and climb up the ladder. Once you have done that, you will obtain this achievement. This achievement is called Cream Corn. Now this one is done in two parts, as there is only two cans of corn in the game that have to both be destroyed. The first one you can find in the Miner's Puzzle, where he is throwing everything down at you. There is a shovel, a bucket, and a can of corn. You will have to have him hit the corn with the dynamite blowing it up. Alright, for the second can of corn, it can be missed as it's on the island and you have to go to the far right hand side where you actually have to get your boat to and you will find it on the ground next to the crackers. You will have to take the can of corn to where you have to explode the barrels and you have to put it into the middle so the can can get destroyed in the process. Then after both are destroyed, you will obtain this achievement. Alright, so on to the next achievement. It is called To Soothe a Savage Beast. This can be done in the zoo. Now for this, once you have gotten the battery for the recorder, instead of going down to get the beast roar, you're going to want to actually head a little over to the left where you're going to record the zoo music. Then take it back down to the beast where you'll want to play it and you will receive this achievement. Alright, moving on to the next achievement, it is called Who Wants to Live Forever? The description of this achievement is pretty clear, nobody can die. You have to play the entire game with the three characters you chose at the beginning without anyone dying once. There you have it, this is the 21 achievement cleanup for the cave. If you're still missing the four achievements from the first video, the first playthrough, just click the link at the end of this video or click the link in the description below. For the last two and final achievements you will need, it will release in tomorrow's video, so stay tuned for that, the collectibles. This is SheWolf. If you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.